In today's video, you're going to learn what an author reader magnet is, how to use it to grow your readership, what I use personally, and how to get seen. When I start working with someone, I always ask them if they have a reader magnet. And sometimes they say, what is a reader magnet? That's why I'm doing this video today. Magnets are used all the time in marketing. Usually when you go to a website and you sign up, you get something free. Sometimes it's recipes. In our case, it is a story. Author magnets are a great way to collect email addresses. And those email addresses go on your newsletter, which you own. So when Facebook is being wonky or AMS ads aren't working, you have an avenue to connect to people who are interested in your books without having to pay a thing. But it's more than just offering something for free. If you follow Bonnie and I for a while, you know we are really big on planning, especially if you've seen our boss mode course, which is all about planning. So you need to be very strategic when using your author reader magnet. So here's what planning might look like for you. Number one, you need to know who you were writing for. I was talking to someone a few weeks ago and she's like, yes, I have, I have a short story that we can use. I'm like, awesome. I like, does it go into what you're writing now? Is it a prequel? She's like, no, no, no. It's a horror story that I wrote a few years ago. I'm like, okay, that's awesome. But here's why we can't use it. You're currently writing cozies. You need to make sure that you're delivering the content that your reader would like. I love cozies. I don't love horror. I mean, there is some cross promotion or cross, but generally speaking, your reader is looking for cozy and that's what you want to deliver. Number two is choosing the right magnet. I suggest having two magnets, one for readers that you already have engaged and one for people that have not read you yet. So the people who haven't read you yet, you're going to want maybe a short story, something that says, hey, this is what I write. Here's my style. Read it if you like it. Get my books. The other one is if people have already read your books and maybe not subscribed to your newsletter list yet. So the end of the book. If there's a wedding, you can include it. Say, hey, these, if you're sweet, these two characters got married, subscribe to my newsletter and get this. If you write sexy, you say, subscribe to my newsletter. These two, this is their honeymoon. And then you can include an extra scene. Um, there are so many different things that you can do for this. Number three is setting up your email funnel. Now that you have these email addresses, you're gonna to wanna to put them to use. Welcome them. Invite them to your social media. Introduce them to new books. Usually three to five emails, and then you can move them over to your regular email list. Number four is integrating it with your marketing strategy. I'm sure that you have sat down and you have a beautiful marketing strategy. So take this, work it in with your, with your releases and things like that, especially if it's a prequel and you're releasing further in the series, make sure to really push this. And you've heard me say this before, but I will say it again. If you have a magnet, you need to run an ad to it to grow both your newsletter list and your social media. Now you need to see if that magnet's actually working. Look at the click-through rates, the download rates, You know, check the data because you might have to switch it to something else because sometimes things just don't click with your readers and that's fine. And also I use BookFunnel for all of my magnets. They are wonderful. They, they deliver it straight to the Kindle or to their BookFunnel app. It's really great for your readers. It's a wonderful experience and they have great promotions. I hope this was helpful like and subscribe and make sure to join our free Facebook group. Link is below.